At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. Pahrump Nugget, Progressive Cash Drawings, Mystery Point Multipliers, Mystery Gift Days, Extra Cash for Four of a Kind, Bingo Bowling Football and Food Specials. Looking for constant action? Look no further. Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. News 46 is brought to you by Healthcare Partners. News is brought to you in part by One Nevada Credit Union, where right now you can refinance your auto loan with rates as low as 2.98% and no payments for 90 days for qualified members. Call us today for details. News 46 is also brought to you by the Bankruptcy Center of Pahrump. When it comes to sensitive matters like bankruptcy, take a breath of fresh air by calling an experienced and compassionate attorney at the Bankruptcy Center of Pahrump, 775-727-4747. News is also brought to you by Pahrump Dermatology and Skin Cancer. When you need the best dermatology care in Pahrump, call Pahrump Dermatology and Skin Cancer, 775-727-9800. News is also brought to you by Capriati Sandwich Shop, located in the Pahrump Nugget Casino. Call us at 775-751-3354 to order ahead. News is also brought to you by Hope Counseling Services, where we specialize in behavioral health, inspiring hope for a brighter tomorrow. Call 775-727-0101 for more information. Tonight on News 46, Pahrump Assisted Living breaks ground. And Black Road will open sooner than expected. Stray shopping carts are cleaned up around town. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46. With Doug Brindle. And Rhonda Van Winkle. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46. Local coverage you can count on. Good evening. It's May 15th, 2012. I'm Doug Brendel. And I am Rhonda Van Winkle for News 46. The Nye County Sheriff's Office has issued a press release regarding an attempted suicide by hanging in the Prompt Detention Center. At approximately 2.45 yesterday afternoon, a female inmate was rescued by detention deputies after they were alerted by other inmates that a woman was hanging herself. She was transported to Desert View Hospital and then ultimately transferred to Unite, or University excuse me, Medical Center in Las Vegas, where she continues to be treated. Due to medical privacy and the current ongoing investigation, no other details are being released at this time. A groundbreaking was held this morning next door to the Pahrump Early Learning Academy on Java Street. I'm one of the partners in Pahrump Land Development. I'm excited to be part of the team developing the new Pahrump Assisted Living and Memory Care Facility that will now occupy this very site. We have approximately 38,000 people in the Pahrump Valley. We have a significant number of seniors and adults who are facing or will face questions about caring for their parents as they get older and need assistance. Uh, the assisted living uh, 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 facility uh, will uh, benefit uh, from the jobs here in Pahrump. Uh, approximately uh, it will create more than 150 jobs during the construction phase and approximately 50 or more people will be hired to work at the facility. This is the first here in Pahrump and um, it's, yeah, it's definitely a much needed community here in Pahrump. What are we looking at here as far as the facility? We're looking at um, assisted living and memory care. So what we will do is we will provide any care that's needed for those that cannot care for their loved one in their home, as well as we'll provide a secured environment for those who are dealing with memory loss. This is a $7.2 million project? Yes, it is. It will be about 70 units, um, and so those are going to make up both um, assisted living and then there's going to be um, semi-private and private units in our memory care. 
We had a little uh, groundbreaking here today. Yes, we did. It was very exciting to attend the groundbreaking as the project is definitely moving along. Our contractor is actually Brock Metzka of Edward Homes, and he's done a lot of commercial and residential development here in Perum. This is going to be an eight-month project, so the slated opening is the end of February 2013. We're pushing the contractor to try to have it done by the end of the year, but we have our fingers crossed. And uh, as far as the feasibility study goes, I know that, you, were you guys talking about uh, opening something on the south of town as well at one point? Well, the feasibility study was done specifically for this site and another site, and this site was more favorable. And this site being uh, at the end of Honeysuckle here, right next to the school. This is a good site because of what reasons? Co uh, closer proximity to the hospital. And and you guys work very closely with the hospital yes. and assisted living. As a matter living. fact, they were in attendance this morning. And the architect on this? Is Doug Pancake, based out of San Diego. Mr. Pancake has been uh, intimately involved in various senior living projects throughout the country. We chose him, and this was the design that he suggested. And this design um, has a choice for expansion as well. Yes, we uh, purchased additional land around the facility, so we can always expand and do additional rooms, um, additional memory care, wh whatever the market would, would want. Finally, work has begun to repair a closed portion of Blag Road, which was damaged in December of 2010 after heavy rains and improper soil compaction caused by sinkholes in the roadway. This in turn damaged several lift stations. Well, as of last week, construction on Blag Road has begun. The Nye County Commissioners approved the project to Wolfenstein Construction from Blag all the way to Atkinson. We're going to speak to Commissioner Butch Baraski. Last week they were cutting some of the asphalt off. Then they had to wait until Monday uh, yesterday to start up again. I was down there a little while ago. Um, they've got about, oh, I don't know, two, three hundred foot of trench open. Um, I asked the guys how it was going down there, and they said it was great. It's Bird Underground, by the way, that's actually doing the digging and the and the putting the gravel back in and recompacting it. That's uh, for the sewer line compaction, right? Yes. And and the lift stations, or is that Utilities Inc. that's going to be doing the lift stations? No, I'm not too sure if Utilities Inc. is going to fix their own lift stations or not. Um, I would think they would be liable for those, not us. And uh, But I'll have to check on that for you and let you know the next time we talk. Uh, I did get some good news. I just checked in the, uh, we're going to have a change order on the time frame uh, for the project. And it only looks to me like it's going to be about three months wow, or cool. less, uh, which is phenomenal if we can get it done that quick. And then uh, we'd, love, we'd all love to see that road open back up. Uh, I can only apologize for the business owners down there on Blag that have been, um, been put out. But, you know, there's nothing, it was out of our control. The um, Wolfenstein is actually going to be doing the pavement part, or what part? Yeah, I think Wolfenstein's got the, the whole job, and he's subbing out to, uh, I, I hope I'm correct here, he's subbing out to Bird Underground to do the digging part. Uh, as you know, Wolfenstein's pretty busy in town on uh, Dandelion and other places, and maybe when he gets done with those, he'll pull off and come over there. But definitely he will be doing the paving, the grading, and all of that. And so we're looking for the whole portion or just a part of the portion right now from Basin um, to Mesquite? Is that, is that that's the whole entire portion or is it, or how much are we looking for for the three month period? Well, basically we, we approved uh, X number of lineal feet to be done and that was from Basin up, uh, not maybe not quite all the way to Mesquite. Now, if we find uh, some very wet soil or some bad conditions down there, then probably uh, would come back for a change order to extend that further and make sure that we get all of the bad spots out. And that's the key. It's public safety. We do not anybody want anybody getting hurt. We don't want any collapsed roads. And we all know how quick things happened last time with roads collapsing and, and wet spots and things like that. So we're, we're going on the cautious side for the the safety, health, safety, and welfare of the public. Once again, that is good news that it will be only three months until this portion of the roadway is open. Of course, we'll keep you posted. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Hey, you notice how nice it looks around town right now? It looks very nice around town. Yeah, well, that's thanks to all the volunteers who got out there early Saturday morning and helped clean it up. We're going to have a story about that cleanup right after the break. Don't go anywhere. 